Hey guys, welcome to the Jambi Way. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. So today I will be budgeting my sinking funds from my second paycheck in May from my part-time job, of course. I have a family of six. I have four children and I think this method just works great. I feel like it holds me accountable. I think it's just awesome. So, today we will be stuffing $432, and into gas we will put $20. I have not used the $20 from last week as I had a full tank, and I'm not going out anywhere really, I'm just to work that's, like I said, right down the street or getting my husband into the grocery store, but I haven't even gone to the grocery store either. So... That's why we're um, we're gonna go ahead and still put in 20 so we can build that up as well. And then for my groceries, my household, toiletries, things of that, it will get the $50. My husband does put a big chunk into this category, so that's why I'm only putting in 50. Then we have the cars that will get 40. Medical will get 60. The kids will get 50, Christmas will get 50, vacation will get 30, our emergency will get 50, and spending will get $22 this week. So that brings me to a total of $372, leaving me with $60 to put into my savings. So let's go ahead and stuff these. So I do keep everything in this file folder just to keep it all together. Let me get this over there. And let's go ahead and separate our money. So we have two. And we have tens. We don't have any fives this week. And we got twenties. And we have fifties. So with our first one, which is gas, we will be putting in 20. And then groceries will get the usual 50. So 20, 40, 50. And cars will get 40. And I still do have the 20 from last week, so that gives me 60. I am going to have to get some index cards or something just to keep track of how much I have in these cards so I don't lose count. Medical will get 60. 50, 60, and last week we put in 20, so we have $80 towards medical, then the kids will get 50, and then uh, so 75 in total for the kids. I am still stuffing this envelope even though school is out because I do use this for their clothes and their shoes and just little things that they may need that's not school related. So that's why I still do stuff the kids envelope. And Christmas will get 50. It had 20 last week so 70. For Christmas. Vacation will have 30. And so now that vacation has $50 in it. Our emergency will have 50. Now we have a total of a hundred. 
and for this emergency i do have a goal to get it up to a thousand of course i will keep stuffing it afterwards but my goal is a thousand it's not a big emergency fund envelope or nothing like that um this is really just for like quick fix things you know if something breaks down you know washer dryer or anything like that or um I don't know like unexpected things happen where we have to like go see our families who live out of state or just any emergency like that this is what this is for it's not to say for like um three to six months expenses a year expenses or none of that um it's just a little emergency fund that i'm trying to build for us just in case little things that need to get fixed or replaced we will have this for it and then the last envelope is the spending, which we will get $22, 22 whole dollars in our spending. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put that in there. And then we do have the savings, which in my last video, I did explain that I have an online savings account. Um, I do not stuff these. I keep them on that account. And I've already went ahead and transferred over the $60 for that. So that's all done. And that is it for today's video with all the stuffing and the sinking funds. So if you have any questions or any comments or advice or suggestions, please, please, please leave them down below. I do read them. Um, and everybody just stay safe, stay healthy, stay home. Like I said, we will all get through this time that's happening. So until next week, I will see you guys. Bye.